Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you the integration of vCenter Operations 5.6 and the new 5.1 web client. First of all, I'm logged on with my web client to my vCenter server and both the vCenter server and vCenter Operations are running in a virtual appliance, in a virtual machine. Um, the vCenter Operations vApp has two virtual machines in it the Analytics VM and the UI VM and I already uh, registered the plugin of vCenter Operations at the vCenter server. So when you are logging on with the web client you will have some extra visibility from, from within the web client and you will see that some extra content is also pushed in from vCenter Operations. Uh, for instance when I'm going to the summary of my vCenter environment I will see that uh, there are two alarms, but I also see a health state right here. And in this case, there's something wrong because the health of the vCenter server is zero and the health should be 100. So the health of the vCenter server is depending on workload and faults. And what you see here is that the workload isn't that high, but the faults, there's one fault right here. And the over, overall health of the vCenter server has changed. So this fault, is uh, responsible for the 100 faults and that's why the health of my vCenter server is zero. But there are also other objects that can be uh, monitored from, uh, from within the web client. Uh, when I'm going to the summary of, for instance, my ESX host, and then we will see that the ESX host also has a health right here. The health is 92. And uh, when we click the 92 load, we see that there is some workload and there are no faults. This is pretty good. The workload and the health are directly related to each other. When I'm going to this host, this is my physical host. Those three uh, ESX hosts are right here, are virtual machines. My physical host, uh, let's take a look if my physical host is healthy. We have a workload of seven, no faults, and there's 93 health on my ESX host. But virtual machines can also be monitored. When I'm going to this virtual machine, and I'm going to look at the summary of this virtual machine, then, uh, or the, the, the summary of this virtual machine shows that the health of this uh, virtual machine is, where is it, where is it, 86. And when I'm diving down a little bit deeper and I'm going to monitor the health of this machine, then I see the 86 score and it's depending on the workload of 14 and 0 volts. Another interesting thing is data stores. Data stores can be monit monitored for both capacity and latency. And when you're going to a data store and you see an unhealthy data store, in this case, this health, the health of the data store is only seven. Then we see that the workload is 93. There are no faults. The disk IO isn't that high, but the disk space is mainly responsible for the bad health. We can also look at a healthier data store. And what we see here is that the health is 35. The workload in this case, is uh, mainly caused by a lot of disk, disk space and the disk I.O. isn't that much. When I'm going to this one, there should be a little bit higher workload. No, there isn't that much disk I.O. either. So you can you can see uh, the health from derived from vCenter Operations 5.6 in the web client for data stores, for virtual machines, even for networking. Uh, there is also a possibility to, to monitor the health of your uh, environment and also for your ESX hosts and your vCenter server. This is Eric Sloof signing off. Bye bye and enjoy vCenter operations. The foundation version comes free with vSphere. Thanks.